Finally! I've got you right where I want! Wait, how the fuck did we get to Camping World Stadium, home of WrestleMania 33, available April 2nd, 2017 on pay-per-view in the WWE Network for only $9.99 a month? Doesn't matter. But what does is that I'm gonna- And when the fuck did I change avatars? Did you, like, watch me change avatars? Oh, God. Did you change it for me? I'm pretty sure that's illegal, not to mention the fact that I don't think MTR would, like, SHUT THE FUCK UP BEFORE I TURN YOU INTO A BLACK GUY THE HARD WAY! Well... That was rude. I don't really give a shit. Point is that you little robot friend in around, so I'm gonna get exactly what I want from you. Are you sure you didn't accidentally add an extra P to your profession? What I want happens to be a co-op. Eh, sure. Get down! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to- What the fuck are you doing? I'm introducing the video, the fuck it look like. But that's my job. You don't have the material. Fuck, at least I'm doing your intro. Uh, whatever, fine. I'll just be off in the corner thinking about the implications of my avatar changing without my consent. I'm just glad Doodle found those fox ears. What? Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Dylan Thomas. Wait a minute, Dylan Thomas? Yeah, you, you know. Shatia commentator thinks he's actually an intellectual. Well, I wouldn't go that far. He's not that bad, and he doesn't seem to think that highly of himself. You haven't seen his video, have you? So, let me just say, I'm not trying to start any drama, and I'm still cool with her. I just feel like that her latest livestream needed a little bit of critique, so let me get into this today on DHT. I'm sorry, what? Yup, a commentary on the live stream. Any legit critique he could actually provide would be able to be given in a fucking one shot or a comment, but he's making a nearly 10 minute video critiquing a live stream as though it's a fully scripted, fully planned video solely for the purpose of being a white knight for someone doodle tones doesn't happen to like. To be fair, it's not simply an issue because of the type of video it is, but I wouldn't have picked this video if that were the only problem with it. Let's get started. Okay, wow, that's also my line. DO NOT GIVE ANY FUCKS! My thoughts on Just a Robot. Here's the thing. Just a Robot annoys me. Here, like, oh. he's one of those people who will talk and talk and talk, and if you call him out on him even remotely being wrong, he will not admit to being wrong. Ever. Okay. He well, I've seen him admit to flubbing up names, I've seen him admit to getting the hardest material on Earth wrong, I've seen him admit to a lot of stuff. Hell, he even made a video called Top 7 Errors I've Made on My Channel. But you know about this video, and you're gonna bring it up in a minute, so I'll save any further points till then. Why are we playing this? Th this seems fine. Sure, he probably could've sped up Doodle's video a bit because of all the pauses, but yeah. Just a robot did admit to a few things he got wrong. They weren't really things that hurt his argument, granted, but he still did admit to getting stuff wrong. I think you fell for a subtle little straw man there, Booney, let me help you out. Doodle did not say that he doesn't admit to being wrong as an isolated statement. She said he doesn't admit to when someone calls him out for being wrong. And on top of that, what you said about the issues being minor, yeah, Doodle points that out. And it makes it even, it makes it even worse uh, when you look robot. at... Well, no, uh, well, yeah, that he is a robot. Here's the thing. <laughs> I remember seeing his his top. I remember seeing his uh, his top seven things I got or things I messed up on. You want to know what was on that top seven? Not once, what? or I think there was only one. There was one thing where it's like, yeah, no, I actually did get this point wrong. I grant you, it was insignificant. It didn't really hurt my overall point, but I did get this one point wrong. Everything else was, oh, my robot voice was bad, or oh, my avatar didn't have the hand in the right spot. Oh, it's like. Seriously, it was, all, it was only presentation issues. Yeah, no, that's not true. He's pointed out multiple things he got wrong in plenty of other videos, like mixing DreamWorks up with Blue Sky Studios. Congratulations, sir! You have already missed the goddamn point. Doodle was specifically talking about the countdown video of Just a Robot's errors. What you're doing right now is taking Doodle saying that everything else in that video was about presentation and attempting to apply it to Jar's responses to criticism as a whole. Otherwise known as a composition fallacy, assuming that part of something applies to the whole. On top of being a straw man fallacy applied to Doodle's statement, of course. Um, yeah, sure. 
logical fallacy and shit. And when he did his reply to all the people who did commentaries on, thanks to the fact that you created the bandwagon to begin with, he pointed out another thing he got wrong. He's not afraid to point out when he's wrong, it's just you haven't proved that he's wrong. You know, it would have been really nice if you actually told us what he meant it to be wrong about in his hour-long fuckfest since it would strengthen your argument, but you know what the first thing that comes up is? that he should edit his audio. Well, yes, he also admits that he was wrong about what the hardest substance on earth is in that exact video. The wording of your statement makes it sound like he only admits to one thing being wrong. And if one were to go through the video, they would find this first, being unintentionally deceived and thinking that this is what you were talking about, which is another presentation point that matches what Doodle's describing as the criticism he does listen to. I don't even agree with Doodle fully on this either, as I've noticed that Robot tends to at least take criticism, if maybe being a bit more resistant to admitting he's wrong than most, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But wording your statement better would allow someone who doesn't already know the situation to not get fooled into thinking you're grasping at straws nearly as easily. That better not have been a shot at me, bitch. Nah, you're fine. Meanwhile, he pointed out that your deity thing for the Pokemon that is God of the Earth wouldn't apply to real world logic because you can't take your powers into a whole different world and expect it to work the same. Except both of them are wrong. So, Doodle made a joke about the fact that nuking a god would have repercussions. A poorly delivered joke, mind you, and Jar tried to say that the fact that it's a god doesn't matter because it wouldn't be a god. Of course! Then Jar blatantly says this in the original video. Do I even have to explain this one? According to Sinnoh legend, this godly Pokemon created Sinnoh and possibly the entire Pokemon universe. And if that legend is true, it can most definitely destroy our tiny world, along with our entire universe. I do agree with this point, but I have a small question. Do you think if the universe was 50% smaller, it would be the size of a galaxy? Just asking. In other words, accepting the fact that a god in the Pokemon world would have god-like powers in the real world, but refusing to allow the exact same concession for Groudon and Kyogre, who are also stated as gods. Not gods of everything like Arceus, mind you, but still gods. The fact that Jar missed that is a bit understandable, since Groudon and Kyogre being lesser deities may explain that increased in vulnerability to nukes, which is, by the way, still a stupid solution. But your wording, Dylan, means that you just proved just a robot wrong completely without intention of doing so. You don't realize that doesn't disprove anything Dylan just said, right? Um, yes it does. Namely, Jar didn't prove that Doodle Tones was wrong with this. By saying one god is a god in another dimension and another isn't, Jar is contradicting his own criteria for what makes a Pokemon able to destroy the world, proving that even though Doodle's statement about Groudon being a god was intended as a joke, it actually pokes a giant hole in Jar's criteria applying to Groudon, thus proving that his own logic shows that Groudon actually can destroy the world. How the fuck you do that? A combination of Ace Attorney, math, and Five Nights at Freddy's lore analysis. Huh. So, uh... You're a nerd, is what you're saying. I mean, when you put it like that. If you were to actually point out what points you think was wrong of his and that he needed to fix, then maybe you would have more credit here. But because you don't, I would just have to assume. But I have to say this yet again. Until you can prove which one of these points of his are wrong and he needs to admit to it, he doesn't have to admit to anything. You're the one making the claim here. You have to provide the evidence. What claim? She's not claiming his inability to admit to a specific thing being wrong. She's saying he doesn't do it in general. You're turning a live stream and an opinion based off the dome statement in that live stream into a fully thought out logical debate. The issue's been spoken about in more detail a number of times. And you're willing to do research on when Robot admitted faults that had nothing to do with the video in question, but you're not willing to look at times when Doodle pointed out when Robot was wrong? And this is discarding the fact that you're still assuming she's talking about a specific incident, even though her language in no way indicates she's talking about any specific incident. In other words, you are misrepresenting the argument once again, which is another straw man fallacy. Is there a reason you're pointing out the exact fallacies he's committing? Oh, you'll know where I'm going in due time, booty bitch. Aside from that one little thing that didn't even, again, hurt his overall oh. argument. So it's like, okay, 
you want to sit there and go, oh, this is top seven things I got wrong, but you don't actually want to talk about things that you got wrong. No, he just doesn't want to tell you that you're right, and he shouldn't have to tell you that you're right. That's all you want him to do. You just want to, him to admit that he was wrong in the video and that your critiques against him are valid. That's not how critiques work, and when you get a counter critique, you also have to take that into consideration. Oh, hey there, straw man. Nice to see you again. I burned straw man to the ground, motherfucker. Doodle said absolutely nothing about being right, and once again, she didn't say that Robot's entire body of criticism was him not pointing out what he got wrong. She was stating that in application to the video in question, at no point do you dispute anything in regards to the video she's actually talking about. She doesn't even claim that it's her criticisms that are correct. Jesus Christ, is this whole commentary a straw man? You see why I wanted to do this. You just can't flip out like this and act like his critiques toward your critiques aren't valid. So we going there. I ain't fucko. I know anger. I know anger real well. And tones ain't angry. Not in the fucking slightest. Also, live stream and presenting opinion on someone. Just because she doesn't like the way he handles criticism doesn't mean she ignores criticism from him. She did, after all, disown the goddamn video. Oh, by the way, before anyone brings this up, Doodle defending specific points in the video or covering people who are doing a bad job of talking about her video doesn't change this. She disowns the video because she thinks it's bad. That doesn't mean she doesn't think there's redeeming qualities in the video. I'm not fucking done. You sit down. Jeez, you're a jerk. Common knowledge. Anyway, on top of the straw man continuing to stand there, just waiting for me to come over there and start a bonfire on his ass, this whole straw man going on right now was created out of a false cause fallacy. Jaw refusing to admit Doodle Tones was right about anything is true, as is the fact that he doesn't admit that he was wrong about anything significant in his original video. Does that mean one caused the other? No, it fucking doesn't. Now you may speak, Boone. <sighs> Admittedly, there are a few cases where he admits that other people are correct about the types of things that Doodle Tones is admitting he's willing to admit to, namely things that don't hurt his main point and notes about presentation. But again, Doodle in this stream admits to these being things he'll admit to being wrong about, using his countdown as an example. If Jar admitted something significant was wrong that someone else pointed out, and she still said the exact same thing... Yeah, you may have a reason to present causality, but right now you're associating two things that both happen to be true. It's like, no, here's the thing. Here, I feel like I know the reason why he perpetrates himself as, an, as a robot, both in and out of con uh, out of video, you know, because he just keeps playing his character. I think the reason why is because he knows, oh, humans, or humans can make mistakes, so I don't have to worry about that because I'm not a human. I'm a robot. I, I feel like that. I feel like that's what it is. What it really boils down to, just a robot. robot. Dual tones. I know you've had problems figuring out who's a character and who's not a character and how to approach someone like that. But the thing is, you have to use their own character's logic against them, and you fail. If you actually paid attention to Just a Robot, any of his videos, he said multiple times that he's actually not a robot. Yeah, shocker. His title's a lie. He's actually a cyborg. He has a human brain, meaning that he can make mistakes. He didn't state it in his original video on Pokemon that destroy the world, or his first video on Doodle Tones. And he did admit to not being perfect in his hour-long fuckfest. Er, right, fuckfest. But he didn't state that he was actually a cyborg. Hell, when he responded to Silver in that very video, he said speaking binary to a robot, as in the word you're saying he doesn't actually identify himself as, mind you, is racist against him. Not because he's a cyborg and not a robot, but because it's an outdated language. So, yes, Dylan, he refers to himself as a robot. I'm not saying he doesn't refer to himself as a cyborg elsewhere, but as far as Doodle Tones would have any major reason to be aware, he does think of himself as a robot. Never mind the fact that a robot with a human brain instead of a normal CPU is technically both. There's also the fact that Doodle Tones states that he plays his character outside of his videos in the comment section as well. Oh, and uh, by the way, if he's a cyborg and not a robot, and that's so important to his goddamn character. Why is he called just a robot? Misrepresentation of argument. I can't fucking wait to get my hands on that straw man. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty! Anyway, you know, most, most fallacies are just used as a way to discredit people. And they, they just sit there and go, oh, you're, you're committing... Here's the thing, I think I think what, I, what I'm trying to say is it's not really the fallacies, I guess, that are stupid, but the people who use it are stupid because they're just going, oh, you are doing this fallacy, therefore you're wrong, without actually explaining why it's an issue, or why this fallacy is an issue. Well, one, I'm pretty sure that, you know, um, the people who actually do make a, the people who actually do make an argument, uh, they, they might actually know that they're committing a the slipper cell fallacy, but here's the thing, just because they're committing that fallacy, doesn't it automatically mean that they're wrong, because, you know, there actually are, um, 
There actually are a, there actually is evidence to support that though, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, you're, I mean, you're bringing us something political that I'm not actually fully aware of. The point is though, we... people people just sit there and go, oh, you're doing this fallacy and expect that to speak for itself, which it should. And this is my last argument. I'm tacking this on because I feel like it relates to just a robot. How exactly? You don't explain the way in which it relates, so it's only part of the argument because of the way you feel? Appeal to emotion fallacy. I think I'm starting to get why you're bringing these up. Just, just give me the floor for a few more interjections. It's gonna get good. Should I get popcorn? You ain't even gonna need to pop it. Why wouldn't I? Oh, right, made a fire. Got it. Doodle Tones, you should know what a fallacy is. You are a commentator. I know you're not a political commentator, but it's important for a commentator to know what a fallacy is and why you should strive to not commit fallacies. Okay, Bony, you want to explain how we cut out part of the live stream here that gives important context? Well, yeah, there's a timestamp on Doodle's video and part of it is missing. You mean that wasn't just silence? Sorry, I didn't watch the original stream. Oh! Well, uh, let me just play the clip then, you mind? No, oh, by all means. Here's the thing, though. Um, if you want to actually prove that somebody actually is wrong, I think, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, for oh. example, the let's look for still fallacy. Um, I've noticed that there are some people out there who uh, tend to use it, but, like, for say, oh my gosh, you... Um, like the whole, uh... Porn decreases uh, rape, stuff like that. They say you're committing the uh, slippery stool fallacy. Yeah, but they don't actually explain why that's a problem and why it's stupid. What? One, the. Wait, so you're telling me that he cut out the thing that Doodle actually didn't know about? Yep. Then acted like Doodle didn't know what a fallacy was. Pretty much. Oh, but wait. Here comes the icing on the cake. Basically, when you're having a debate, it's an intellectual conversation. If you're using fallacies, you are being intellectually dishonest. In the end, that can lose you the respect of the debate. Yeah, you'll still have your echo chamber saying that you were right, but who cares about them? Morally and logically, you will be considered wrong. I fucko McNobrain, let me break this down for you. First of all, Doodle Tones did not say that using a logical fallacy was okay. She said that using simply the fact that someone committed a fallacy to say everything they're saying is wrong without explaining why they're actually wrong is bad. And you know what? It's an actual intellectual fallacy known as the fallacy fallacy. As for your statement about fallacies making you morally and intellectually wrong, Let's take a look at all the fallacies, other than the fallacy fallacy, that is, that you've used throughout this commentary. The entire thing has been a straw man. You got a composition fallacy in there, you got an appeal to emotion in there, you got a false cause in there, and you even got a Texas sharpshooter in the form of picking and choosing parts of what was being said to play in order to make clips mean what you want them to mean. When I was pointing out all these fallacies, though, I didn't just say, you made a fallacy, and that was the sole base for why you were wrong. Either myself or Boney here pointed out what was wrong about those fallacies, which is what Doodle was getting at. You can say that someone's using a fallacy, but on top of explaining how they're using that fallacy, you also need to actually prove them wrong. Otherwise, your entire video is intellectually bankrupt, even without our actual fucking criticisms. Okay, well, since we're on final thoughts, I guess- Oh, we're not done. What? Truthfully, he did admit to cutting things out, so he released an uncut version of this exact video. So, he corrected himself. Not exactly. Are you fucking serious? I'm never gonna get to talk about magic at this point. 